In this video, I'm going to show you the simplest way to implement OTP input in Jetpack Compose. OTP stands for one time password and it is usually implemented as a verification step in two steps verification when authorizing yourself. So let's get straight into it. Now, first, let me show you how does it work. So here is the OTP input. And if I click anywhere on it to focus, the keyboard appears. The keyboard is limited to digits only so that I can input some digits here. And regardless how many digits I'm going to input, it only takes the first six. If I remove, it keeps removing them. And additionally, the next field that is going to be inserted, it is highlighted with blue. So those are the things that I wanted to show you first. And let's see how I have implemented this. So here I'm only calling the preview of the OTP code input. And the OTP code input, as we can see, is very simple, small, composable. And so let me walk you through the code and we will understand what's happening here. First, I have the OTP state here, remember. Then I have a column which has text for the label, which is enter OTP code, as we can see here on the right hand side. Then I have the basic text field which is the OTP input. We are going to get into the details just in a bit. And finally, I have a text that is aligned to the end for the recent code. Now, those are not doing anything just yet because the point of the video is to show you how I have implemented the OTP input. And maybe even surprisingly, I have used only a basic text field here. So the basic text field takes in the state, which actually gets the value of the OTP. Then I have a modifier that I'm applying semantics here for content type, which is SMS OTP code. Why this is important, we're going to see by the end of the video, so stick around for a little bit. Then we have an input transformation that limits the input to six characters, so I couldn't enter more than six. Then I have a keyboard options that is making the keyboard appear numbers only. Then I've applied line limits to a single line, and ultimately here is where the magic happens, by applying decorator parameter to this basic text field. So the decorator is responsible for handling the touch inputs. If you are maybe selecting text, it will handle also the, the pointers, like the start and the end, which means you have to be very careful when using it. But for OTP input, we are not using any of those. So we are safe to actually apply custom decorator here. And next, what I'm doing, I am taking the OTP code and transforming that into string. Then I have a row that fills out the entire width and applies horizontal arrangement to its children to space around. So it's going to add spacing around the children. Then I repeat six times because I know that I have only six digits, which is also reflected in the input transformation here. And so for each index in this repetition, I'm calling dedicated composable, which is called digit here. There I am passing the current OTP code character for the given index. And finally, I'm saying that it's going to be highlighted only if the index is the same as the current length of the text input. So when I enter something, the text input is going to be, let's say, 1, which means the index 1 is going to be highlighted of the digit. And then let's look into the digit itself. So here I have border size, which I'm animating based on the highlight from 2 to 1. If highlighted, it's going to be 2, otherwise 1. I am also animating the border color. If highlighted, it's going to be blue, otherwise light gray. So don't judge about the colors. I'm very bad at colors. And finally, I'm having a box where I have a size of 48 dps. I'm applying a border, giving the border size animation and the border color animation. I'm applying rounded corner shape of 4 dps. And same for the background, which is hard coded to yellow. And ultimately, inside, I'm having the text of the actual character, which has a font size of 24 SPs. And I am aligning this to the center so that the text is going to be to the center of the box that holds it. So that's pretty much the implementation. And as I promised, I said that I'm going to show why this content type here is important in the semantics. So let's actually simulate an SMS being sent to our emulator by doing this command here that you can see in the terminal. So I am pretending that I'm sending an SMS saying your OTP code is blah, blah, blah. So I would send that. And if I open back my emulator, it shows me that I have received an SMS. And here it allows me to copy this code. Now back to my screen, the keyboard allows me to paste that code for me. And that is being allowed by actually applying this content type here. Now, the first time you do that here, it will show something like allow this operation first. And then once you allow it, 
it is going to let you paste the OTP codes here. So that would be it for this video. Hopefully you find it useful. And as always, you can find link to the repository where this code is held in the description below. See you.